So a user on YouTube asked, have you seen the fence maker add-on? I have not mate, but we'll take a quick look today. Alright guys, how's it going? So a very quick tutorial for a Saturday afternoon, and today we're going to take a look at the fence maker add-on. It is available for free, I'll put the download link in the description down below. You're more than welcome to check it out, and it's pretty damn cool to be honest. Now, I believe this works in 2.91 or above, it might work in 2.8 but I'm not entirely sure to be honest. And I believe this is written by a Japanese developer. So when it comes to the documentation, translation, it's not the best to be honest, but hey, it's pretty easy to use and I'll give you a quick tour. So let's quickly jump into Blender, I'm going to undo this action, and I'm inside of edit mode. Now, we'll use the default cube, because we love the default cube, and you can see here, we essentially have the object selected, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to make poles first of all. So you can find this in the end panel under tools, and I'm going to hit make poles. You can also find it here under the tools panel as well, and it'll bring up the dialog box. Now if this does not come up, you might need to hit F9 to engage it. So you can see here I can change the pole type from prism to maybe something like a cylinder, or maybe something like a rectangle. So we'll leave it on rectangle. We have plenty of options we can play around with, we can play around with the bevel depth, vertical position, stuff like this, we can merge polys. It's pretty fully fledged to be honest. Now the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to press 3 to select a face, I'm going to select this one, then what I'm going to do is I'm going to come up to make face, and you can see here it generates the fence type. Now I have several options, this is kind of crisscross diagonal pattern, I can change this to a cross, I can change this to a wire mesh, which is generally what you would see on a fence, or I can change it to my favourite, and if you ever watch Pamela Anderson, barbed wire. And that's pretty much it. Now again, we have more options to change these settings, we can change things like the barb frequency, so we can put the intervals down, we can distort it, so we can put it up like this, and then all we need to do is delete the face in the background, and we end up with something like that. How cool is this add-on? Can't believe this is free. So I'll play around with some of the other settings, what I'll do is I'll go to make face, and I'll change this to a cross, and like I mentioned, you can play around with the settings until your heart is content, and I'm going to change the ornament, and I'm going to cap this off, so we end up with something like this, let's just check out some of these options, nice, you get a nice ring, hey, <laughs> oh, I found that funnier than I should have, but anyway, so you can start to get really nice stuff, and let's try and make guardrail, and these all change when you mess about with the settings, but that really is the fence maker add on, it's pretty cool to be honest. Do me a favour guys, like the video, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, follow me on Twitter for more crap posting, you know what to do. Take care.